Have you recently tried to read and study the Bible? Or have you read through the Bible before, but you still struggle on how can I study better from the Bible? Or have you read the Bible, but have never actually been taught how to study it? Today, we will be learning some helpful tips and different strategies for studying the Bible. Hello, welcome back to Signing Spiritually. I'm super excited to have you here today. Today, we are going to be studying how to study the Bible. First, why is it even important to learn how to study the Bible? Well, reading the Bible helps deepen our faith and our fellowship and relationship with God. Also, it helps us become more wise and intelligent. I have a Bible verse from the book of Matthew, and it's in chapter 7, verse 24. And that explains about becoming wise from studying the Bible. We're going to go ahead and look at that. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on a rock. In addition to this wisdom that we gain, it also helps teach us and guide our lives and our actions. I have another Bible verse I want to look at. It's from the book of Psalms, and it's chapter 119, verse 105. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. The Bible teaches us what to do and how to live, how to interact with other people. The Bible also teaches very different from what the world teaches. For example, in the Bible, it teaches us about forgiveness. We need to forgive other people who may have hurt us in the past, but we still need to forgive them and also pray for them. But the world it teaches something very different. It teaches, no, you can't forgive those people. They hurt you. They need to be punished. You need to get your revenge. And you need to keep that grudge. You don't need to forgive them. Now, those are very, very different ideologies. So the Bible teaches very opposite from the world, what the world teaches. And knowing God is impossible if you don't read your Bible. The Bible and reading it is an absolute must to be able to have a relationship and know and be able to understand God. I have three different ways to help teach you how to read and study your Bible. Here's the first tip. Build daily habits for reading your Bible and studying it and pondering and meditating on the scripture. I know life is so busy, but we still need to take the time to socialize and have fellowship with God. How can we do that? By studying his word. Studying your Bible helps recenter and refocus your eyes and your mind on what's important in God's plan. He is controlling everything and he will help you succeed. Every day, God is handling everything and God, he reveals himself when it is quiet and peaceful, when there are no distractions and we're not being distracted by all the shiny and busy things in the world and all the people and everything going on. When it is quiet, and the world sleeps, you are able to have one-on-one -on -one time with God, and God will reveal to us things. 
and it can be early in the morning before most people wake up, before the world actually begins. And the quiet of the morning, the peacefulness, you can look at the birds as they're awake while the people sleep. Or it could even be late at night when all the people have already gone to sleep for the night. And it's quiet and peaceful, and it's dark outside and the stars are shining. And you can sit and study your Bible and just spend time with God. And often beginning your day by reading the word will help you actually feel better, feel more empowered, ready for your day, feel bolstered with self-esteem and ready to accomplish great things because God is supporting me. It gives you a positive mindset. And how can we do that when life is so busy? What do we need to do? So something useful to do is in the morning, open your Bible before you pick up your phone and start scrolling through social media. Or if you use your phone for your Bible app, before you open up Facebook or TikTok or Instagram, before you do that, open up your Bible app and just read through it. Read through the different plans or the deaf Bible app where they have signers that are deaf and expert, very fluent signers that can describe in sign language the different scriptures. That simple lifestyle change will influence and absolutely change your life, transform your mindset, and allow your soul to be inspired with hope and encouragement. The different truths and promises that are from God, that are in His Word. Before we go on Facebook or TikTok or Instagram, before we experience the darkness and the brokenness of that world, before the drama, before we see the people complaining, before we see all the information about all the wars happening, look to the Bible and read it. And you will become full of hope and joy and excitement, motivation, and encouragement. If the first thing in the morning you're like, ah, it's okay, I can read my Bible later, it's not that important. And then you start scrolling on Facebook and you're like, oh, there's people and their drama again and they're complaining about all these things. And you start looking at it like, oh yeah, that's not good. You won't start to feel a little grumpy or even sad or frustrated, they're talking about me, or just, you just won't feel happy in general. You'll just feel more grumpy, and you'll feel some sorrow and heartbreak first thing in the morning. However, if you pick up your phone and you're like, oh wait, I need to set that down, I forgot, I need to read my Bible first. Let's look and see what God wants to tell me today. And you open and you start reading through the scripture, you will start to feel more empowered and your self-esteem will improve. Yes, that's true. God will take care of me. That helps your spirit be filled with joy. Social media, it's just not good for your spirit, especially first thing in the morning. It has a lot of sad and heartbreaking and a lot of angry and frustrating things on there. And it can cause you to feel stressed and overwhelmed. And that's just not good for you. It's not good for your mental health or your physical health. Just feeling that stress and that overwhelm of, oh, there's so many people and so much drama. It's just not good for you. But the Bible, that reminds us that God loves us. God wants to support us. And God wants us to succeed. He will take care of us no matter what is going on. And that truth will fill your soul with joy and hope for the future. You will feel better. You will feel embolstered. And you will also feel ready for the day, ready for whatever may happen. That simple action of opening up your Bible before you pick up your phone and look at social media is extremely impactful and will change your life socially, emotionally, 
physically and mentally, and most importantly, spiritually. Jesus, he had alone time with God. Did you know that? Allow us to look in the Bible at Luke, and we're going to be in chapter 5, verse 16. But Jesus often withdrew to lonely places and prayed. If Jesus needed alone time, we also need alone time. If Jesus had a relationship with God, we also need to have a relationship with God. If Jesus prayed, we also need to pray. Number two, use tools and resources to help you better understand the Bible as you're reading. One absolutely amazing tool is the Deaf Bible app. So the Deaf Bible app, it is just amazing. It's a Bible that becomes alive with the signing and the visual language. You can actually see the Bible and they have it in different sign languages. They have many different versions and different translations for you to be able to understand and view the Bible in your native language. And they also have some lead Bible studies that you can follow along and be guided with the sign language videos to understand better. They also have things like maps, there's also timelines, and there's other Bible studies you could follow along. There's also other apps you can go find. For example, there's Uversion, and then there's also another one I recently found called Filament. And these all can help you deepen your faith and understanding with the scripture to help clarify it. Those different apps can help you understand and follow along the different scriptures and be able to study the Bible and understand it in a much clearer fashion. Helping study the Bible and using those tools will help develop a deeper relationship with God. And God, He gives us so many different tools and resources that we are able to use to help us read through the Bible and understand what it means. I hope that my videos will also become a useful tool and resource for studying the Bible. Let's look at another Bible verse. This one is from the book of 2 Timothy, and it's in chapter 3, verse 16 through 17. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting and training in righteousness so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. By studying the Bible, we are able to become better equipped for doing good work in the world and also for honoring God. Number three, pray before and after you read through and study the Bible. Prayer, that prayer is our direct line of communication to God. When we pray, we open our hearts and open our minds to God and allow God, our divine creator, to show us and reveal to us things from scripture so we can gain a better understanding. For example, here's a simple prayer to start. God, please open my heart and open my mind. Show me, reveal to me what you want me to know, what you want me to learn. Prayer, that invites God to show you things that you would normally just miss when you're reading through really fast, just trying to finish it. But when you take time to pray, it allows you to slow down 
and read more thoroughly and think about things. And suddenly things can pop up and be revealed to you. God will show you things and will reveal to you something new. And you'll finally be able to, oh, I understand what that means. When you pray, you slow down and you allow God to come down with you and sit with you in that moment, in that place with you, and have a fellowship time with God, deepening your relationship as you're reading and studying the Bible. It allows God to enter into that moment with you. Prayer shows God that we are ready to learn from Him and to learn from His divine word. Let's look at another Bible verse. This Bible verse is from the book of Psalms and we're going to be in chapter 145, verse 18. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. So, in the same way that we pray before we study and read the scripture, now at the end you also pray. And thank God for allowing you to have that fellowship with him. Thank God for allowing him to reveal to you and showing you a new understanding and a new meaning from the scripture. Thank God for all of his blessings that he has given us and given you. For example, the resources and tools to be able to study, having access to the Bible, and also the freedom to be able to study God's word and whatever else you want to thank God for. I have one more Bible verse that we're going to look at for today. It's located in the book of Colossians and we're going to be in chapter 4 verse 2. Devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Next week, we are going to be looking at the seven pillars of effective and transformative Bible study. Let me know what you thought about this video. You can leave questions or comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like. And if you want to continue learning more about the Bible or how to study the Bible, you can subscribe. I hope to see you next week, and remember, love like God loves you. Bye! Love you!